everyone. Today I'm going to read you The Bravest Fish by Matt Buckingham. Far below the waves, a little fish named Stanley lived with a squirrel. They were the brightest, sparkliest fish of all the, of the deep dark sea. One morning, Stanley woke up late. Hello, it's me, he called to his friends, but the reef was strangely quiet. Suddenly, Stanley remembered that today was the day for his school swam to, to cooler waters for the summer. Jumping jellyfish, he groaned. He hurried to the meeting point as fast as his fins could carry him. But no one was there. As he looked around, he saw a bright light. Aha! They haven't gone far, he said, and he raced toward the glow. But it was only a lobster, Captain Coins. Go away! Don't touch my coin! Don't touch my treasure! The lobster growled, snip snapping his claws. I'm looking for my friends, said Stanley. Fish? The lobster grumbled. Those others were here were in, were in such a rush to hurry, were such a hurry to find someone they upset my coins. Others? asked Stanley. My friends! Join them then, snarled the lobster, and Stanley sped off. Ahead of him, Stanley saw a shimmer. He could just make out a bright light, sparkly fish, one of his friends. Hello, it's me, he called, swimming faster. Clonk. Stanley crashed head first into something hard. Jumping jellyfish, he cried. It wasn't one of his friends at all, but his own reflection in the tiny pearl. Stanley rubbed his bump nose. Feeling a little dazed, he didn't notice a deep shape coming up behind him. When he turned around, Stanley found himself staring straight into the mouth of a huge shark. Ah! Stanley shrieked. Over coral and under weeds, he sped with the shark, snapping at his tail. Finally, Stanley saw a small hole in the rock below. He dived down inside to just miss being gobbled up. Deep within the cave, Stanley shivered and shook. He felt sad and lonely. He was beginning to think he'd never see his friends again. Well, I can't stay here forever, he said at least, at last. Stanley poked his head out of the cave to see if the shark had left. Jumping jellyfish, he squealed. The sea was a golden orange, glowing and glittering. It was the most wonderful sight he had ever seen because there in front of him were... His friends! Hello! It's me, he called. Stanley, said he. His friends cheered. Where have you been? We've been looking all over for you. And Stanley told them his adventures as they swam off in a bright, sparkly light, happy school. The end. If you, if you liked me reading The Bravest Fish, uh, subscribe, subscribing would help and you could comment y the next book that you want me to read. Bye!